Hello, my name is Sister Mary Margaret Drogi. I'm a sister of Notre Dame, and I have written a book about Uganda called Approaching Holy Ground. Uh, it's um, a book that I think many people will enjoy. It's simply written and it's based on letters. I have a special connection to this mission as I was part of the beginnings. So, um, it's very dear to me, and I want it to be dear to you. Um, the Uganda mission is um, a mission that the Sisters of Notre Dame began in 1995 in a very rural area of Uganda, an uh, area called the Bush Country, because the uh, foliage is very high, very tough, and it's a very neglected area of the country. Uh, when you go there, you see tremendous poverty. And this is the place that the bishop invited us to go and to provide some education, because education is something that is sorely needed. And the bishop wanted not the kind of education that they usually get there, like rote learning, but he wanted these children to learn how to think, how to make decisions, and not just be able to repeat back something that they've learned. And so we accepted the bishop's invitation. Uh, we went there and scouted for two years, two different times, and then we sent the sisters. Um, the book basically covers the first 20 years of the mission in Uganda. And it tells about how the sisters were prepared to go to Uganda. Um, the challenges that they met, especially during that first year that they were there, and they were surprises in a way because we thought we had everything covered. And yet, these are basic problems. Food, transportation, communication. So what did they do about that? Because they didn't have it. And today we think, how can you live like that? Um, the book has a lot of their successes some of their challenges, some of the touching moments, and they're based, the book is based heavily on letters. So it's not like a research book. It's a book with stories in it, book with uh, people's feelings, how they handled things, uh, and all of these come from the letters that they wrote or the reports that they sent back to us. I wanted to write it because, first of all, I have a great love for the mission. And when you have a love for something, you like to share it. Um, I was involved in the initial steps of establishing the mission. And I've come to see so much about the sisters who were there, of what kind of people they were, um, the strength that they had, their complete trust in God. And that comes through very strong, you know, in the book. Wanting to write it was, I didn't want the story lost. I didn't want, it to have all, didn't want us to have all these letters that we keep in file drawers. The, the story is too good to be kept in a drawer. And so I wanted to write it to be able to share it with people. I hope that um, people meet the Ugandan people and that they see them as extremely faith-filled people, people whom we would say are beset with tremendous problems, you know, lack of education, uh, very limited diet, uh, poor housing. That's not the part that I think is the most important. The most important part is these are people are tremendously faith-filled people. Deep faith. Um, they'll share anything they have. And the thing that amazed me the most is that they're happy people. In the midst of all this, they're just very happy, and they convey that. Um, I also wanted to... Um, I want to hope that people will see how God worked through this. How God worked through the sisters who had their weaknesses, they had their strengths. But 
they relied on God and together, I mean, they did marvelous things. They have created, you know, a mission that has a nursery school, that has an elementary school, which we would call a primary school, has a secondary school, has a huge farm. Um, and that's not the work of one person. It's the work of many people working together, at times having their differences, but working together, and um, letting God have a big part of that, and including the Uganda people, not just working for them, but working with them. So I hope that um, when you get the book that you will enjoy it as much as I did writing it and meet these wonderful people. And I'm especially grateful to the sisters who were there, who, who made it possible, you know, they had to be open to God because they couldn't do it on their own and they recognized that. I'm also very grateful to all the, the people here who supported the mission supported the mission through their prayers, through their financial support. And I hope that in reading this book, you will see that you made a huge difference. It's everybody working together, doing it together, sharing whatever talent, skills, or whatever we happen to have that actually made the book possible. So I wrote it, but the authors are many. Thank you and enjoy approaching holy ground.